what is going on guys I just got out of the lab and it is still about 10 a.m. so I'm here to get some breakfast This is the uh, breakfast menu from Urban Tiger. That uh, looks like a very healthy breakfast in comparison to what I've been eating during the past week. Today's Friday and it is currently about 10, 10.40. I'm not sure you can see it because the sun is in my eyes. I can't really see the screen. Yeah, I'm out of the lab. I bought myself some breakfast. I thought I was gonna buy myself some coffee too, but because I'm a poor grad student, I'm just gonna go make coffee at home. Since I haven't done any vlogs in a while, and it turns out that one of the most popular videos on my channel was the A New Campus tour, and it was so terribly done. I'm sorry guys for those who have seen that vlog. Yeah, everything is open today, so I thought I'm gonna take you guys around some more today, perhaps over the weekend as well, to the random spots that people hang out. I don't really have a plan. Over there is an aqua theater. There was a band playing yesterday and I was just chilling down there. That was pretty nice. Just ran into a couple friends. I guess I'm getting coffee after all. Yeah, let's wing it from here. When it's nice out, you can actually hang out on the bean bags here. You know what? I think I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit. It is quite nice. I can people watch from here. Over there is another coffee shop. Well, I had quite a nice nap in the sun. I got about half an hour left before my next Zoom call, so I'm gonna take you inside. A student common. There's a study space and Upstairs, just on a mezzanine, there is my favorite place, full of beanbags again. This is where I come and hang out sometimes. And down there is of course a study space. This is a lecture hall up here. Yeah, there are four floors worth of study space. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the fourth floor, but you get an idea. Today I'm just following Apirat around for a spot to show you at ANU. He's lost. He's lost. Oh no. How do I turn my bike with one hand? So guys, my friend here took me to our first spot and this is an... What is it called? An Una? Una. It's my ANU backward. Guys, I clearly didn't do my research. This guy is telling me all about it. <laughs> it looks like a ball full of holes being damaged by a hailstorm but it's actually not. These holes represent the number of stars that you can actually see on a clear night. I think if you look inside, have you ever looked inside? Yeah, you should. Yes. If you look inside, you can actually see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> and this is another hidden gem of ANU. Behind me here is a biology building and the window structure is supposed to resemble a bacteria, I think. It is a bacteria that creates oxygen for the early earth. I don't think this building is making any oxygen, but still pretty cool to look at. Here we are at the Hancock Library. Hancock Library is just sitting next to the biology building, which is sitting next to the first ball we visited. I hope. Yes, we are in. Hancock Library is one of many libraries here at ANU and there are three floors not including the basement. Things have changed a little bit since COVID, so on the second floors there are full of chairs that are pointing in a funny direction. What is really cool here is you can have your own cubicle to study, do homework, watch Netflix or whatever you want. But what I think is the best part of the Hancock Library is on the top floor, where the study area kind of reminds me of a 24-7 family-owned burger joint back in the US. The top floor of Hancock Library is equipped with a little kitchen area, vending machines, and I was told there used to be a microwave here so you can nuke your lunch, but after COVID that is no longer the case. And we are now heading to our next stop. I don't know where that next stop is going to be, but I'm, I'm always up for a surprise. And then we ran into an area that housed a small number of old farming equipments. There were no information about them and so far I couldn't find anything about them. 
So if you know a story of what these equipments are, how they got here, please comment down below. What is going on guys? Today I'm following a couple of healthier friends of mine to a gym here at ANU just so I can show you what kind of equipments they have here to offer. And the gym is not free by the way, I don't know why we pay such an expensive tuition fee for. for the tour. What, how much does it cost? 10 bucks a week, roughly? 11? 11, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they tried to get me to sign up for the free trial, but nah, no way. And today I'm here to check out the free breakfast at the Bryan Kenyon Student Center. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi, uh, I'm just here for free breakfast. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Let's see what's in the bag, shall we? Ooh. Free food always tastes better. What is going on guys? Today is your lucky day because we are going to Mount Stromlo. And this is another part of campus that is pretty far away. 20 minutes car ride away. But yeah, if you are thinking about joining astronomy group here in ANU, that is where you're going to be working. My advisor is giving a talk up there at the 11 and there's supposed to be free coffee. Hopefully there are some snacks. Oh, got to be careful. There's Tesla right next to me. It's windy up here. I think I'm lost. I don't know where I am right now. That's a cool school. And after the talk was over, we were given a tour around the facility. The view is quite nice up here. I'm kind of jealous. It turns out there are plenty of instrumentation work up here at Mount Stromlo. The telescope up here was destroyed by the bushfire, I believe, about 10 years ago. So no observing is actually happening up here. But people do observe remotely though. That is it guys for the Stromlo tour. It's time to head back to our main campus. And that is it guys for ANU Campus Tour 2.0. I didn't expect this to be a week long vlog, but hopefully that gives you a rough idea of what it feels like to be here on ANU campus. Anyway, hope that was better than my last ANU tour vlog. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe so YouTube may someday pay me for my coffees and instant noodles. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.